Okay, this video is for uh, Magnet Man 2010. And uh, my last video, I was working with uh, crystal cells. He made a comment that he had uh, taken one of my penny oscillators, uh, which is a replication of this right here, and put a Duracell 1.2 volt nickel metal hydride rechargeable on it three years ago. And it was still running and it was still running bright after three years. So, of course, I had to try this. So, uh, I've delayed making this video until I did some more testing on it. But um, I don't know what's going on with this thing here. Um, when I got it, it was about 1.23 uh, or so. And I put it on this thing and uh, it actually started going up in value. And then I said, you know what, I, I'm not quite sure that's gonna do us anything. So I put the thing on a charger here, USB charger, and uh, charged it up to full capacity. And they go on up to like 1.4 or something when they're charged. So um, I don't know what was going on here, but I went ahead and put this on here, fully charged off this, just to, to run a test and, uh, of course, this is going to go down in value because it's a 1.2 volt battery. And if you look at the discharge curve, they, they, they drop off, then they level out for a long time, then they drop off quick. So um, on something like this, it's a three-year runtime. You've got to accelerate things a little bit to get some sort of test results. I can't wait three years um, to see what's going on here. But... Um, Anyway, this is a nickel metal hydride, but it is the one, the new ones that have a 10 year shelf life that don't have the self discharge. Uh, the penny oscillator here, which is a jewel thief with an extra capacitor on it to make it into a blinker. Um, at the low, low, low rating, um, where it's barely noticeable blinking, it's 25 microamps. If you crank this thing up, um, you're going to go up into the 20, 30 milliamp range as you um, reduce the resistance on the transistor. And you can see it comes on bright there. And I think the value of this thing here would be to have this um, idling at this low, low, low um, microamp draw. And then if you needed it, you could crank it up. But if you could get a three-year runtime on a battery uh, like that, I think that's pretty neat. So anyway, this is a video for Magnet Man 2010. And thank you very much for giving me a heads up about that. I'm going to be doing a lot more testing with that battery right there. Thanks for watching.